Today we're gonna learn two easy beginner hi-hat patterns. So let's get started. Hey everyone, Gabe here from drumbeatsonline.com, a website that helps you become a better drummer. Today we're going to learn two easy beginner hi-hat patterns. So let's jump right into it. Um, for everything that we're going to be playing in this beat, we're going to keep things nice and simple. So our kick drum and our snare drum are going to be playing the same thing for both beats. And that is going to be kick drum on beat one, snare drum on beat two, kick drum on beat three, snare drum on beat four. So I'll play that for you real quick just so you can get a nice feel for what that sounds like. All right, so now we're gonna spice this thing up a little bit by adding in our first hi-hat pattern. And what we're gonna be doing with that is we're gonna be combining eighth notes with 16th notes. So eighth notes are going to be counted like one and two and three and four and. So there's gonna be eight notes in one measure. 16th notes are going to be played twice that speed. So there's gonna be 16th notes or 16 notes in one measure. So we're just gonna do a little bit of combining with that. So what we're gonna do is for beat one, we're gonna play 16th notes on our hi-hat. So we're gonna play four notes on our hi-hat and we're gonna count that like one, E, and, uh, four notes. So from that point, we're just gonna go right, left, right, left, then that's going to take us to beat two, which is going to be where our snare drum is. So with the snare drum on beat two, there's not going to be anything else played with that. It's not going to be a hi-hat and a snare. It's just going to be the snare drum. And then from that point on, we're just playing eighth notes on our hi-hat for the rest of the time. So we've got one E and a two and three and four and of course with the bass drum and the kick drum in there as well. So let me play that beat for you all together at a few different tempos and check out how it sounds. So make sure you don't feel discouraged if that first part of the beat is tripping you up a bit because I know you're playing the 16th notes on the hi-hat but all the while on beat one you're hitting the kick drum as you're playing the 16th notes and then you're going right into beat two which is on the snare drum. So I know that that pattern can be a little tricky um, but make sure you're just taking it slow, make sure you're just relaxing, taking deep breaths and you'll eventually get it and then you'll eventually be able to play it a little bit faster. 
So now let's move on to our second hi-hat pattern. So for our second hi-hat pattern, again, we're sticking to the same pattern on our kick drum and our snare drum. Kick drum on beat one and three, snare drum on beat two and four. So this one, if you haven't played this beat before, can be a little tricky. The base of this beat is what I like to call the dance beat, which you'll hear in literally every single pop song that's on the radio right now. So um, pretty much what you're just gonna be doing is you're going to be hitting the hi-hat on all of the upbeats of eighth notes. So what I mean by that is when we're counting eighth notes, one and two and three and four and the upbeats would be the ands. So we're taking away all of the one, two, three, and four, and we're only playing on the ands. So that by itself would sound like this. So now we're just gonna add in one little note to make things a little bit spicier. So what we're gonna be doing is after the and of beat three on our hi-hat, we're gonna add one note on the uh of beat three right before beat four. So now instead of just playing three and, it's gonna go three and a uh, four. So now it's gonna be two hi-hat notes instead of one, but only on the and and the uh of beat three. So let me play this whole thing all together for you at a few different tempos so you can get a better feel for how that sounds. So again, with this beat, playing on those upbeats could feel pretty unnatural if you're not used to it. So playing between your foot and the upbeats of the hi-hat can get tricky. So again, same thing, just take it slow. Don't get discouraged, guys. You can totally do this. We've all been at this place of having a beat that's just really tricky, but the key is just take it slow and just remind yourself that if you spend enough time on it, nice and slow, you'll be able to get it and then play it a lot faster. So thanks so much for watching this lesson, guys. If you want my best drum lessons, I would highly recommend my drum lesson course, Ultimate Beginner Drum Lessons. If you wanna check that out, you can check it out right here. And if not, you can check out my last YouTube lesson right over here. Thank you so much for watching this lesson, guys. It means a lot to me, and I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.